just look at these growth metrics. All segments in gaming have experienced growth, but these segments are growing even faster than gaming in general. Women, married couples, and even grandparents are outpacing the growth in gaming by substantial margins. But it's not just the types of gamers that are diversifying. Emerging geos in places like the Middle East and APAC are joining the fun and outpacing the growth of gaming in general. Google Cloud provides game developers with two key capabilities for multiplayer gaming. Matchmaking is more important than ever with increasingly diverse players and widely distributed geographies. Game servers power those competitive multiplayer matches your players crave. And with players all around the world, you need a robust solution for managing your global fleet. OpenMatch and Google Cloud game servers provide the power you need for the world's largest multiplayer experiences. Now, while it's true that many players want to compete, there's a growing class of players that want to create, to build and express themselves in persistent worlds. For these players, I'm proud to announce a new solution called OpenSaves, developed in partnership with 2K Games. OpenSaves puts the power of Google's massively scalable storage at the fingertips of persistent world developers. So this is where we like to talk about Google Cloud Game Servers. Google Cloud Game Servers is a management layer that sits on top of Agones and Kubernetes and allows you to power production grade workloads for your game servers, whether you're running two clusters or 200 clusters. And it delivers on those three things we were talking about previously, right? We can scale up to your launch day workloads, whether it's again, your first day or as new content comes out. We have a variety of tooling, some of which we'll talk about today, to reduce the amount of toil on your operations teams for day two and day three. But I think actually most importantly, we give you enough interfaces and enough control while taking away a lot of those, you know, like that toil to be able to tailor it to the very specific needs of your game. So you can build the game experience that you want for your players for that multiplayer game that you're building. A virtual game studio is for everyone on the team, not just artists or developers. So anyone who needs to work with production data, whether they're project managers, designers, or QA, can access data in the same manner. But that doesn't mean you don't have fine-grained control over this access. Cloud allows you to carefully define the security profile of each user or group so that only they can access the data and the resources that they need to do their job. You can also right-size the configuration of workstations for each user. So production managers get, for example, like a small VM and artists and developers get a powerful workstation with tons of GPUs and tons of cores and lots of memory. To get the lowest latency and the best user experience, you place the resources as close as possible to the users, to the end users, but no matter where the resources are in the world, they can communicate over Google Cloud's global private low latency fiber network. This means, this all means that you choose where in the world to deploy your facility and you're no longer constrained to a physical location. Find some new production tax credits announced somewhere in the world, hire the artists that live there and take advantage of those benefits. Another game studio finished a project and a whole bunch of talent just became available. Hire those artists where they live and they won't have to relocate or uproot their families. So let's have a look at what the end user experiences when they log into a virtual game studio. We're using Teradici's PC over IP to connect to our workstation, which allows me to log in using my existing credentials, including multi-factor authentication. I have a number of workstations available to choose from. I'm gonna log into a workstation in our Oregon region. This is a Windows workstation with everything pre-installed I need to do game development, including Unreal Editor, and a connection to a Perforce Helix core database server for source control. I have a scene preloaded, the car configurator project you can get from the Epic Games Launcher. I'm gonna make a couple small modifications to the car paint to commit to source control. I've switched to a virtual workstation running in our South Carolina data center. 
There, you see a Perforce Helix Edge server running in this region that's a replica of the one in Oregon. So any changes made on the core are automatically propagated to any Helix Edge server in the network, no matter where it is in the world. 